Hi, Will. So today is another one of those days at Pets Up, another exciting day. Um, we've been working on this as a pack for a little while now, and we're finally ready to release it into the world. Please, Will, let everyone know what it is. So I'm just so excited to show everybody what we've been working on, which is to bring AI into the uh, the Pets App dashboard and helping uh, veterinary teams actually utilize this technology that we're spending so much time thinking about and talking about in the news and now it's at the fingertips of the veterinary teams. So I'm going to just pop open the Pets App dashboard <clears throat> and we're going to have a look at how it works. So in my dashboard right now, I've got a an, uh, an empty queue of chats and in just a moment, uh, a chat is going to pop up for me to have a look at um, and we're going to see how our co-pilot AI assistant can help. So I'm going to start a chat here with my pet, Becky. Uh, hi there. Um, sorry to say uh, Becky is itching again. Do you think it's her atopy? Should I come in for more meds? And we can see that that chat pops up in the dashboard just at the top of the queue. Now, the great thing here is we can see is that I can have a look at this chat beforehand. And as in uh, the typical pet app style, you're able to decide whether you want to deal with this chat right away or if you're going to go and uh, help somebody out who might be standing in front of you. In this case, I've got time and I'm going to jump into this chat. So I'm going to assign this chat to me and you know, we can see here that Becky is itching and you might see this shiny button down at the bottom right, which is the PetSap Copilot, our veterinary assistant. So I'm just going to press that button and I can see I've got a message which is exactly what I would have said. So I'm sorry to hear that, Tom. Itching be quite uncomfortable for pets. It's possible that it could be related to her A to P, but it's always best to have examined by a veterinarian to confirm the cause and determine the most appropriate treatment. And then it goes on to actually help me out and do exactly what I would have said, which is to say, do you want to get that appointment booked in? Um, and we're giving the, the pet owner exactly what they need to hear with just a two clicks of a button, um, just helping out and augmenting what I would have done. And you got to love that paw print emoji there too. So friendly. Always you, you... Uh, trying to build a friendly relationship. The thing I love about it is it doesn't send this automatically. The veterinary team are still in charge. They can edit that message. They can be like, no, that's nonsense. Delete that message. Um, send their own message. They don't have to press the glimmering button. It's, tempt it's very tempting to find out what, what the AI would say. And when you're in a rush and you don't, you know, don't have the time to write out all the details, it, it's super helpful. Uh, but you're still in charge. So this is augmenting the local veterinary team's patient advocacy efforts not replacing them. And I think that's just so core to the mission of Pets App. We are looking to really enhance and maintain the position of the local veterinary team at the heart of the pet care journey. And this, through Pets App Copilot, this AI functionality does exactly that in the most appropriate way. Exactly. I think it makes it easier to stay at, at the heart of that community and the heart of your, your clients and uh, staying there ready for them because you get to to decide exactly what that message is going to be like you get to have it there ready for you to go and just edit it how you want but it's still going to be sent by you it's still going to be sent by the team there isn't going to be some robot on the other end that the pet owner has to deal with this is you know just augmenting that relationship not replacing it so it just allows you to be more efficient allows you to you know have those messages ready to go and um, just a couple of clicks at the button and the beautiful thing is it's personalized. And if this is the kind of message that if you like this response and you think, well, this kind of thing comes up a lot, you can actually save this to your template messages in Pets App and then pull this as a template message next time too. So you've still got your template messages. You now have Pets App Copilot there to help you suggest messages. It just makes everything much more efficient, but also maintaining that personal touch, which I love. And the, the beauty of this is because 
you know, is is customized to be a, a veterinary assistant is going to work on all sorts of different messages. Everybody who's looking to get advice about, you know, itchy skin to these sorts of routine things about vomiting or diarrhea is going to work in all of these different contexts <clears throat> and, you know, still give you the control over it. And, and things to, to look out for, because the reason why this is best, this is a tool best placed in the hands of veterinary team members, veterinary professionals, is there are limits to artificial intelligence. It does have the ability to do what they call hallucinate and make up information and go beyond what, what it should really go beyond. So it, we've got to be honest here about the limitations of this technology. And that's why, you know, it's really important that you read the message and you do, do check. Is this going to be appropriate to this condition? <clears throat> Does this meet um, what I would say as a, a, a professional standard of communication, right? That we, people shouldn't be just double clicking on that button and sending it without without checking, right, Will? Exactly. Yeah, it's, you're always going to want to check the message, make sure that it's actually something that you would say, because it could be that the, the AI is suggesting something that you wouldn't say because you know the history or you know the background of this particular client and patient. and so. You want to customize it to them and that's fine you know they're going to be some of these cases but the majority of chats really can be made more efficient for you as a team and like tom said here we've got it really is completely customized you know it's dropped in tom and it's dropped in uh it's dropped in details about the the pet there too or it would do anyway and we're you know taking extra special care around using you know, state-of-the-art machine learning models to make sure that all data is completely protected, all of the pet owner data and also the, the, the client data is completely protected um, when it's being sent out to the AI model. So things like that is, is all being looked after on, on the pet yeah, side. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. I find that incredible. Because we have these tags for patient name and tags for client name, we never actually communicate any of that data outside, do we, to the, to the AI? Um, it yep. uses those tags, and then we have that data from in, within the protected pets app platform to fill in those those tags. So there's no leakage of data back to the AI system, and a lot of this is done through prompt engineering rather than handing off technology, uh, uh, to handing off data to to outside uh, technology. Exactly, I, I, you know th that that's something again which is being put put out on widely spoken about in the news, which is when you've got all of this sort of like sensitive data, you want to make sure that it's protected. You don't want to be just shoving off to some other corporation that's going to you know, be able to take it in. And so we're really here partnering with veterinary teams to make sure that they stay you know, compliant. They're using uh, tools that are going to keep them protected and keep them compliant around all this data regulation. So you know, we've spent a lot of time on the, on the team with the Pets App Pack actually making sure that we're, we're doing that sort of thing. Wonderful. Just, just magical. It, uh, it just feels awesome to be able to put this in the hands of veterinary professionals um, around the world and, and just helping, helping them help pets. And I think it's important to say there's been a lot of talk about AI coming in and disrupting um, human interactions, human jobs. And I just think AI is, is not going to replace veterinary professionals, but veterinary professionals augmented with AI, with the assistance of AI, may displace veterinary professionals who just close their eyes to this, just ignore this and let them pass them by. And I think as veterinary professionals, the, the well-being of pets, our patients, is at the, the core of everything that we do. And if there are tools out there, if there's a technology out there that can augment and enhance our existing patient advocacy efforts, we should engage with it. We should engage with it. And what vet, what veterinary nurse doesn't like a, a shiny new piece of kit? And so I, I, I'm just so excited to see how veterinary teams engage with this, use this, ultimately to help more pets. Exactly that. You know, it does feel like magic. The two clicks of a button and you've got a, a fully formed message, which is personalized, is personal. It's exactly tailored to the particular query. There's none of this like, sorry, I didn't understand. You know, it just works. It's just brilliant. So, for all the pets app uh, pets app users out there, look out for that shiny, shiny magical button in the bottom right. Um, and for anybody else who isn't yet uh, using pets app or doesn't have the the AI capabilities at their hands, then yeah, get in touch. Come and we'll get a demo. To you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, petsapp.com, petsapp.co.uk. 
come and get a demo and we'll show you. And, and this wonderful thing is we've been able to turn this on for everyone very generously, if I do say so myself, free of charge to existing users. No extra cost, no extra cost for this, this piece of magic that um, the pack have built in there. So excited to see you all using it. Thanks, Will. Just really appreciate this. Well done to you and your team.